Big day, big day. My life is on the go, baby, on the go. And today is no different. There's, I just wanted to start out by giving you guys a heads up a, a little bit as to what's going on today. There's, there's a lot. And one of them has to do with this, this movie. Black Panther, right there. It's another Marvel movie, and, and I, I don't normally go to Marvel movies that often. I mean, they're they're good for the most part, but Sean, my son Sean, worked on this movie, so I gotta go check it out. I'm seeing another screening for something else. We're gonna get to that. But also, just to drop this, we're gonna be restarting the Hollywood Car Show podcast. That's gonna be happening very soon. We don't have an exact date just yet, but my co-host, DB, which you guys uh, you may remember or may not remember, DB is very awesome when it comes to podcasts. He's super smart. And then an update for Wheels and Waves, uh, not for February, but for March. March, we're going to have a celebrity guest for Wheels and Waves, and that, my friends, is... Oh, I'm not going to give that away. You think I'm going to give that to you now? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, fine. Celebrity guest for Wheels and Waves is stuntman and actor Simon Reed. Now, if you've, if you've never heard of Simon, that's okay, because he's a stuntman. He's the guy that always gets killed in movies, whether it's by, you know, mar some martial arts explosion or some big gunfight or something like that. But if you Google Simon Reed and you, you 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 look at Wikipedia or anything else, you'll see that he's been he's been in like hundreds of movies. We love Simon and his wife Cindy, uh, so they're going to be joining us uh, uh, on for the Wheels and Waves in March. So that's going to be really fun. And also, the Classic Auto Show is going to be coming up uh, in the beginning of March. We're going to be getting into that, but that's going to it's basically like the LA Auto Show, but for classic cars. I'm going to be signing books, going to be doing all kinds of fun stuff. So we're going to be doing that. So enough talking. Let's get to the movies, including this one right here. Interesting morning this morning. I woke up and uh, all the lights went out in the house. I got in the truck to head south and all the lights are out uh, on the highway too. So I'm not really sure what it is, but a bunch of sirens went by, a bunch of police cars, uh, fire trucks, ambulances went by. So headed south on PCH. Got something to do today that's really cool. So far, I don't see anything. Well, it's a mystery. It looks like regular traffic backed up uh, at Topanga, but kind of hard to tell at this point. Got to sit in traffic for a little bit. This is feeling abnormally long. There also doesn't seem to be any traffic coming north. Not a good sign. Topanga is only about a quarter mile from here. I've gone about um, 12 car lengths in the last 15 minutes. But it is moving. It's like two snails going along the Malibu Pier. I'm going out to Fox Studio to a private screening for a documentary, a National Geographic documentary that's hosted by Will Smith called One Strange Rock. I don't know a lot about this. Uh, they did send me some information, but I kind of want to go in surprised, not necessarily with any anticipation or any expectation. And then later on tonight, I got, well, I got about seven hours to kill in between these two. Later on tonight, about seven o'clock, I'm going to the Arclight in Hollywood, again for a private screening of the movie Black Panther. So that's the deal. Now I'm just gonna sit and try to go on. There's no indication of anything, any accident anywhere, nothing going on other than plain old ridiculous Malibu traffic. All right, finally we're free and clear. No traffic at all. The interesting thing about that is when I heard those sirens this morning going down PCH, Something in my gut told me I needed to move. And I was willing to listen to it, and as a result, he's is putting me over at the studio exactly at the time I'm supposed to be there. Under the sun. It ain't no way, no war is really ever won. The right hand is heavy, it weighs a ton. The weight of a century.
Fox. Nobody that way. It's kind of like The Shining in the movie studios. Looking for the screening room, which is downstairs in the bowels. Now time is dear. It ain't no So this movie uh, has Will Smith as a host. His voice uh, is directed by Darren Aronofsky, and it's a 10-part documentary series. And we're just seeing the first part. Well, I'm just seeing the first part. All right, the uh, show is pretty freaking awesome. Hollywood Boulevard first, and then we're going to the Arc Light, which used to be the Cinerama Dome, and that's uh, basically what we're going to do. If we spot any cool cars, I'll show them to you. Black Panther. All right. Uh, great theater. Ken has not been there yeah. before. A long time. Great. <laughs> you will. Okay. We're in the theater. <laughs> Private screening, baby. Black Panther. Oh, I just. It's like Ken's wearing it. Wait. Like a. It's like a Black Panther mustache. Then. <laughs> All right, we're going in, but we have to climb these massive stairs for the next half an hour. Mustang from the Murphy Museum taking it back today. Kathy's behind me. The 
This car's been a lot of fun to have. Really cool. I'm gonna be writing an article about it this week. Be sure to check back at the blog at fireballtim.com and I'll tell you the story of this car. It's about an hour's drive, so I'm just gonna enjoy it. Sammy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so the car has been dropped off at the Murphy. Big thanks to David Neal, who runs the Murphy. I think I can say Murphy again, but I won't. I'll say Murphy, Mustang. Murphy, Murphy. <laughs> the, uh, the Mustang was, uh, was very Murphy. nice. Yeah, from the Murphy. It was really a great, uh, great driver. You know, most of the time when you get an old car, it's uh, uh, they're a little temperamental, but this was really nice. Yeah, very nice. Back in the truck and we're heading south. We're gonna stop someplace for a lunch. And then I mentioned something about a brownie, didn't I? You already did? Yeah, but I, I wasn't really sure what it meant. Market. Kathy's on the phone with Bob, but I'm sensing a brownie is on its way. This house is on Malibu Road, $22,000 a month. Uh, I like it. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. It's quiet, it comes with a massive TV right there.
was a really cool place. I loved it. That was a really nice beach pad. So yeah. uh, to reiterate, it's about twenty-two thousand a month. It oh. looks looks like it was built in the. We're maybe, guessing late forties. Late forties, early fifties, maybe. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the bathroom tile and uh, the bathtub itself. Giveaway. Yeah, giveaways. It was turquoise. Yeah, that was really cool. I would love to be able to tell you about the two movies that we saw today. Uh, I would love to be able to say that, but unfortunately, there's an embargo for both movies. So I'm not really allowed to say too much about it, even whether I liked them or I didn't like them. <laughs> it's tough because I, I want to give you guys the goods, but you know, I got to wait. They, the, the studios have uh, certain ways that they want to do things and, and, and you got to respect that. So instead, I just want to say how much I'm looking forward to seeing you guys at Wheels and Waves this weekend on Sunday. It's going to be an epic show. So much show that Chevy, Chevy is, is giving me something quite interesting tomorrow. They're delivering it to the uh, to the pad here, I'm contemplating whether I even want to show it to you before Wheels and Waves or I want to reveal it on Wheels and Waves. But, but for those of you that can't make it, let's say you're in like, uh, let's say you're in Wakanda, Wakanda, African country. Can't make it to Wilson Waves, although that's kind of lame. You can't, come on. Because you're halfway across the world, you can't come to Wilson Waves. I mean, seriously. But if you're busy, you know, uh, somehow, you know, saving the world or something like that, then I might, you know, I might concede and show you what it is that, that I'm driving tomorrow. But I'm, I'm very, very grateful to Chevy for sending this car out to me. It's a very unique car. And the best part about it is after Wheels and Waves at nine o'clock, about 9.15 sharp, we are all, all of us, the whole, the whole crew, the whole kit and caboodle, basically anybody wants to go. We're gonna be driving up the coast, up PCH, in your cool cars, uh, to, so photo opportunities, lunch, this kind of stuff. We're gonna be doing this stuff, we're making our way up into Channel Islands and we're going to the Channel Islands Maritime Museum. These guys are stoked that you're coming. They're very excited that you're coming. We're gonna have a great time. You're gonna see ship models that are gonna blow your mind. It's gonna be an intense day full of coolness. I hope you can join me. And if you can, well, then, then that's what we're gonna do. Okay, see you tomorrow.